Sharing is a big part of Marshallese culture, but we're not just talking about food and clothing. It even applies to children. The Marshallese culture is rich in tradition, including the process of adoption. We have a phrase, it's called Chinerilo uh, Kobo. But old island rituals may not translate into a new home. Which means no matter where the child is, how far the child goes, that child will eventually find his or her way back to the natural family. In the natural state, that's not always the case. In the Marshallese culture, adoption is a very open thing. In Arkansas law, it is not. With over 12,000 Marshallese residing in Northwest Arkansas and many living in poverty, putting a child up for adoption is one way families live to see another day. Depending on the arrangement, birth mothers can receive thousands of dollars and other benefits in exchange for their newborn. Vulnerable mothers know they're going to have their rent paid and food on the table as long as they're pregnant and giving that child up for adoption. And so they get stuck in this cycle of pregnancy, adoption, pregnancy, adoption, pregnancy, adoption, and can never get out of it. Some have even likened it to human trafficking, calling Marshallese adoption a big business. There's a lot of money floating around. And so I think that may have tainted how the practice is done sometimes. So who's to blame? Josh Bryant, a local attorney in Rogers, points the finger at multiple groups. Though most often victims, some biological parents realize they can cash in on their child. A poor legislative scheme enables a process full of loopholes, and crooked lawyers representing the adoptive parents may make empty promises to expectant mothers in exchange for their children and not necessarily look out for anyone's best interests. The birth mothers most of the time uh, assume that that's their attorney and they don't understand that they have no legal representation going into this process. That's why Andrea McCurdy and Michelle Amonti created Shared Beginnings. It's a nonprofit which works directly with mothers to help them gain access to health care, provide legal counsel, and offer support. We want to make sure that there is a different level of integrity to the way that we go about this. And we want to show them that we really care about them. Bryant is also addressing the problem at the legislative level. He's proposed a plan to Arkansas lawmakers which creates transparency, ensures there's no coercion from lawyers, and criminalizes the solicitation of children. It is unconscionable for somebody to go to a pregnant woman and say, I will give you money if you will place your child up for adoption. That practice has got to stop. The plan is to get a draft in front of the General Assembly in 2019. But before that happens, members of the Marshallese community say old traditions can be celebrated but must be updated. If we worried about adoptions and it is growing at the rate that it is going now, I think there need to be more uh, serious steps that we need to take. Keep in mind, misconduct when it comes to adoption isn't exclusive to the Marshallese people. It can be seen in vulnerable communities across the natural state. Now, this is one of several in-depth stories our team has covered on both the Marshallese population and adoption right here in Arkansas. To see our original special reports, head to our website, nwahomepage.com. In studio, Alex Capriello, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.